Okay, good morning everyone. This morning we will continue our training for Kelwell's page monitor. In the last training, we talked about the M10 and the M20 page monitors. Uh, we understand both monitors, they offer five standard parameters. Three or five is ECG, two channel temperature, non invasive blood pressure, SPO2, and pulse rate. Also, we understand, you know, we can offer great advanced technology on the NIBP and uh, SPL2. For example, you can choose the maximum SPL2. Okay? And also the NIBP, you can choose Suntech. So, in the second training, we will focus on optional parameters. So this morning, we will talk about the CO2 solution from Kelvin. So as you can see, we have two different solutions in the CO2 module. They're both from Philips Respironics. One is the side stream module. We call it here low flow. Okay? Another is uh, the main stream. We call it here capital step 5. Okay? Um, so in the afternoon, we'll talk about the mystery. In the morning session, we'll talk about the science. Okay. So uh, one thing I have to mention to you is that uh, when you buy the M10 or M20 page module with the CO2 module from Kelwell, we'll only put the module in the box, but you do need some accessories disposable accessories, for example, nasal cannon, dehumidification tubings. So um, just keep in mind, when you buy the CO2 module with the monitor, uh, put some accessories uh, in the PO. Okay? So let's check the module. Um, here is the connector. So this side goes to the page monitor. Okay? Uh, in the button, you will see the sampling port. So uh, you have to choose different uh, nasal canyons to connect uh, to this uh, sampling port. Okay. Uh, let, let's check different uh, nasal canyons. Okay. As you can see, uh, uh, we have uh, 34, 70 ADU. This is uh, for sure is for adult adult user. Um, uh, it has the oral can uh, nasal can uh, canyon and uh, nasal canyon. Um, some simpler ones, uh, 3468. This is also for adult, but it's a uh, nasal canyon only. Okay, no oral um, oral port. Uh, what about for smaller patient? We also have a uh, solution for. Uh, Pediatric and, and neonatal. So you can see the port number is pretty much uh, very similar. 3468 PD, pediatric. Okay. So uh, um, only the, the, the size of the, the tube is different. Okay. Um, how to connect? Uh, because the connector uh, cable is not long enough, so I'm, going to, I'm not going to connect the, the module to the patient monitor, but I will show you how to. Uh, Put the nasal canyon on the patient. Okay, so we will choose this one. You can see this is uh, uh, the nasal ports here. You connect to the sampling port like this. One click. If we want to take it out, just like this. Very simple. Okay. Uh, then you put this side to the patient. Like this. Okay. So uh, um, the module will acquire the uh, CO2 signal and uh, convert from the analog signal to the digital signal, then transfer the digital signal to the patient monitor. 
like this. Okay, so it is very simple to use. All right, so after you did the first monitoring, first is your monitoring. Um, what are you going to do with these two, this little cannon? You have to throw it away because it is for single patient use only. Okay, so people ask us, uh, the cost is very high on the accessories. Yes, it is. Uh, but you do have a, another way to uh, save your cost. Uh, actually, this is the, the most recommended way we, uh, we want to tell to our distributors and uh, end users. Um, you can see we have uh, some other accessories. This one, sampling like key. So uh, with the dehumidification tubing, okay? So you can see um, it is a little bit special. No uh, nasal ports. When you open the bag, you will see something like this, okay? So this is the connector to the, goes to the um, acquisition module, CO2 acquisition module. Here is the male lure lock. Okay, what do you do is use this connector. Connect to the nasal canyon with a, a female lure lock. So you go like this. Okay. All right. So you have the uh, nasal ports, okay? Uh, connect the, this to the patient, and uh, this side goes to the module. Still like this. Once you did the first monitoring, what you do is uh, take it off, throw this nasal cannula away, and keep this. You can do the second patient and the third patient even more. Why? Please pay attention to this. This material is very, very special. Uh, you know, it's pattern registered by Philips Respironics. Uh, we call, uh, this is the uh, Nafian. It's actually the, it actually is the dehumidification tube. Okay, so this port, uh, this port, this port uh, can absorb the, the water. Uh, it's good for 120 hours monitoring. 120 hours monitoring for a smaller procedure. Probably you can do, um, uh, you know, probably you can do uh, 30 smaller, small uh, procedure. Okay. So, um, so what about uh, this camera? Where can you get this? Uh, you don't have to buy from Kelware, okay? You can buy from so many different manufacturers, even you can get it from China. Uh, our company really recommended this company, Sotola Labs. Okay, they, uh, their, their price is very reasonable, the quality is really good, service is very good, a very responsible company, okay? So this is the uh, side screen CO2 monitoring. Uh, so when you buy the uh, lawful module, um, you can put one or two nasal canyons, but uh, we really recommend that you get this. Don't forget the port number. The port number is uh, 3475. Okay? So, thank you very much.